Hi everyone, this is Sheena from For the Love of Paper, and I am doing week 33 of the Marguerite Miller Weekly Collage Challenge, and I have some pieces pulled out here. So for my something silver, I have this like embossed piece of silver paper, something in the shape of a triangle. I have some triangle stickers, and well no, they are triangle stickers, but they're these birds that are in like the shape of a triangle because it says something in the shape of a triangle, not just a triangle. I have um, two tickets here to use, um, something with a bumpy surface. Other than the silver paper, I also have this paper that has, um, like you can see that, it's like not necessarily embossed, but it does have a bumpy surface to it. Book page, I have this piece of book page, and I have this decorative napkin. So these are the pieces that I, I'm going to use for the challenge for today. So I think what I'll start with is putting down like the book page. I haven't really decided. I'm gonna tear this in half. Oops, that's not half. Let's try this way. This cord needs to go somewhere. It's never usually hanging there like that. Okay. And I want this, do I? No, I want this side with these, like, where it's torn out from the book. So use that. And I have this napkin. I'm not sure where it's from. So I'm going to take off its ply. And just kind of think about this a little bit. Of how I want to lay this out. Maybe like that. And then trying to determine the best way. These butterflies are the wrong direction. Maybe like that. So I'll put it because once I put the napkin down, that should you should be able to see that through that book page. So let's start with those pieces. Putting this one down, and I'm just gonna use glue stick. I was gonna have a video that was just like an extra. I'm starting to de-stash my stuff, but um, I haven't got fully into that yet. And I'm also not sure what I'm gonna do whenever I de-stash. I just really wanna get rid of it. Is that there? Yeah, I think so. So, um, I don't want to really take the time to put it on Etsy or anything. Given all the things that I need to put on Etsy for actually, for actual, like, things that I've made, ephemera and journals and stuff like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. some kind of piece of hard thing from the book. Okay. And I'm just going to use the glue stick to glue this down. Probably about there. And that section should be good. have a little bit of bumpy texture to it too once it's glued down oops this will be a pretty quick video but I do have all the other videos for uh, the alphabet challenge finished and they are uploaded and they will just show up on the days that they're supposed to so I have overcome <laughs> that hurdle, or so I believe. Okay, I'm okay with that. Maybe I can put that there. Maybe this blue and orange ticket like that. 
yeah, I'm gonna do that. This is upside down though. So I'll put this here to kind of cover up that edge. There we go. And then I will put this one at the top for the tickets. I also have somewhere that I'm going, so I can't take too much time. I just got off work and this may take till 10 o'clock to upload. So that's gonna be a challenge in and of itself too. So I'm just gonna put that on there like that. So far, we're looking pretty bland. So I need to add some focal points to this other than these little things. Because, because it's not enough. You can only see half of this, huh? Let's see what something big I can put on here. It fills up some space. Doesn't really ask for any color. I'll put those birds on, but that's kind of like and in addition, not the focal point. Mm. Will she get lost? What was that thing right there, that big square? Doesn't have anything to do with anything. Oh. A frame. Well, how about we add that frame right there? Okay, then we can add something in the frame. That's big. something rather large. Ooh, there's a fruit fly. I was gonna put that on there, but I feel like I should save that for some kind of like fairy or something. This girl doesn't really have anything to do with anything, but I might use her. like that and then just putting in pieces because I need something what about this teal butterfly up here to break up that a little bit need something in there too these don't have words, but it would be great if I had a large word or something. What's this thing? Again, no purpose. Other than I need some pieces. So that there. These little triangle birds. That one there. We'll just do three. Put that one up there. And then still need something here. I know it's a flower background. When you don't have like um, like a good variety of 
like how you can use the pieces like pretty much everything was one dimensional like the book page napkin something with a bumpy surface well i guess there could be an animal with a bumpy surface huh in addition to my paper let me see if i have something like that because that could fill in the space down here at the bottom and also apply in addition to well this thing is more than bumpy I'll put that one there see if I can find something that's like um, landscape well he's quite bumpy too so then I'm gonna pull back and add my fourth bird thing, triangle bird thing, because I want it like right here in between these two things, like that. And did I think about this? Absolutely not. I did not think about that. To put it anywhere. Well, it's kind of late now, isn't it? Hmm. What if, what if, what if, what if, no, I was going to say, what if I peeled that up and moved it up higher, but it says absolutely not, that will not work. What if, oops, I ripped the bird in half, of course. Okay, let me just grab, oh my goodness. Grab my tail roller and see how little I can get this. And where it might fit. These are pretty forgiving since I don't glue them down. So I might do that. And you can still see somewhat of that and that. Okay. Problem solved. And I'll put like a word or something in this up here. From something. I don't know what. So that was kind of overlapping there, right? Thing there. Okay. Redeem. Now I just need a word. Let me see if I have something in one of these word books that is big enough to like take up space. like this word ridiculously because I feel like it looks these things are ridiculous and then I need a follow-up word nice and so weird I don't think I have weird behind there. Nope. So I'm going to put, I'm not going to push it down because I'm not standing up and I can't see if it's straight. Ridiculously. 
You know what? I'm just going to put myself because it has nothing to do with anything, but I prefer not to be like anybody but me. So we can say I am ridiculously myself. Okay. A whole mix of mess. I love whenever they turn out weird and uh, quirky, no real reason to this one. So there we are, week 33, something silver. There's the paper there. This kind of looks like it's got, and then maybe in real life it would have silver. Something in the shape of a triangle. We have these little birds. Oh, the bird that I ripped, right over here stuck on this book or uh, book where what happened to his tail I lost this tail that I ripped Is it on the floor no I don't know what happened to it well we're gonna put the rip bird right here <laughs> triangle board. I don't know what happened to it. I thought I stuck it on the book too, but I'll probably find it stuck to myself later. That's very possible. Yeah, I don't see it. Okay. Something in the shape of the triangle. We have three normal and one rip triangle bird. Tickets. There's two tickets there. Um, something with a bumpy surface. So we have this bumpy paper, this bumpy paper, and then these their skin is bumpy. Um, book page is back in there, kind of coming through. What is this? The decorative napkin. So that is week 33 of Margaret Miller Weekly Collage Challenge. So I hope you enjoyed this. This was a quick video, um, but I need to get moving. So have a great night. Bye.